Christmas cookies and something else over in Homewood, that grocery, that, that bakery in 187th, I believe it was, on Dixie Highway. And they took you with me, Jerry. 183rd, probably. 187, There was just a small bakery there next to a parking lot, is what I remember. And we'd ordered a bunch of cookies, and they took you in there, and everybody looked at you when they married you, because you were gorgeous in your outfit. And they said, would you like a cookie, little girl? She said, I have four brothers. <laughs> she said, she had to give me five cookies. Did you keep them all, or did you give them to your brother? There's no telling. <laughs> I don't know, did I keep them all? No, I don't think so. No, you didn't keep them all. I think you brought them home, though. You were very good about that. Well, didn't you say when we would, they would go Halloween, they would go trick-or-treating, they had to bring a bag for me because I never got to go trick-or-treating because I was oh, always that sick? that was so sad. That was so sad. You were always sick on Halloween. Yeah. And the boys and I always had to take your bag and <laughs> give you for you, too. And they probably but didn't believe them. The one, the one that I remember the most that broke my heart and still does, you had a, a princess outfit that I had made you um, out of light blue flannel with snowflakes and then we had the fake fur on the on the princess cuffs and you had the hat and everything and you were standing in the picture window crying because you couldn't go out and trick or treat. Oh. Didn't, I always, didn't you always make stuff that we could sleep in? Yes. Because yes. I remember everybody sleeping in something. Yeah. Whatever their costume was. Yeah. So where did you get the ideas for all these costumes? When you leave um, I think I probably just went and looked at the McCall's patterns or the Simplicity patterns to see what was there and then pick something that was appropriate for your kids. No, you I remember people wearing them and them shrinking and shrinking and they're still wearing them. Mm -hmm. Those were pajamas and they would have tails or whatever they had. Yeah, I remember Francis, someone in a brown thing. Francis was a, a, a mouse. And, and that was brown and had the big ears lined with pink. Um, somebody had a gray thing. I don't. Yeah, I think there, there was a mouse that was gray, maybe, and a brown was a dog or a lion or something. I don't know, but we have a picture somewhere of that year with everybody in their costumes. We had a tiger. We had, Michael was a tiger one year. Well, the year that we did all of those, or the more than one year that we were used. Right. Um, Michael was a tiger. And I don't remember what the twins were. The twins may have been clowns. I remember clown pajamas. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jean said one of the purposes in getting this camera was documenting things, and I think like the Aunt Eula story, Aunt e um, Ms. Williams would tell it so much better 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, so you want to get us now before yeah. we lose that's all our right. marbles? Right, right. Oh, that's, you know, Your marbles yeah. are going quick, honey. They had a reminder about, well, did he have an orange with a peppermint stick? Because she remembered the Coca-Cola. You know, so other stories that you wanted to tell. Oh, golly. I asked you about the tradition of why did, was Christmas Eve at Aunt Jean's and Christmas Day at our house? She always liked that, and she only stopped that recently. She doesn't do Christmas Eve anymore? No. But I mean, you're not even there. Would be why. Yeah, but she still did it after we moved from there. She still did it. Oh, really? Then oh, what yeah. would they do Christmas Day? Um, I, don't, I don't know that there's any big thing because Eileen may not be there on Christmas Day. She may have other family obligations and stuff like that. And Amy and um, Sadie and Larry and Terry kind of do their, their thing. So um, that changed. And the other thing is, I think that as you get older, um, you don't have the same energy to do those things. And Jean still likes to cook, not quite as much, I don't think, but she still, she still does. But things to remember, I remember you. You were hell on wheels with babysitters. You were unbelievable. Not just me. Well, yeah, but you were the gang leader. When when Beth took care of you and you pretended that you ran out of the house and you went in the front closet, slammed the door and... Oh, Ollie's going to give me the video, too. Come here, Ollie. 
Is Ollie in there? Hello. Come over and give him a picture. Hi, Ollie. Hi. Here, I'll make him stand behind on the thing. Come here, Ollie Bob. Come here. Hey. What? Stop it. Grab your dog. No, when, up when, um, is he in? Hi, Oliver. Hi, Oliver. And the one time they tied up the best. Oh, mother. well, we'll start at the beginning with this one. Okay. When Beth babysat. Okay, Rough House is starting to happen. Can you get this up and go? Come on, guys. Rough House is having a camera. Are you in a mood? Not getting going.